My name is Jason Dunn. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist at One Well Bet Digestive Health. Digestive problems are some of the most commonly reported symptoms in patients with long COVID. For example, we see uh, patients with intractable nausea, abdominal discomfort, bloating symptoms, and diarrhea. My main piece of advice is uh, not to be overly concerned about these symptoms. They are quite common. And I think the most important advice is to take a stepwise approach in how to manage uh, your symptoms. Of course, we want to rule out any underlying health conditions, uh, particularly digestive health conditions, uh, that may be unmasked, if you like. Uh, but the majority of patients, there's no underlying problem with the GI tract. And this is uh, really a, a problem with the way the GI tract is functioning as a result of uh, that previous uh, COVID infection. We know from studies of uh, other post-infectious uh, symptoms, such as post-infectious irritable bowel syndrome, uh, that symptoms can go on for um, quite a long time, up to 50% of patients have symptoms three years after. Um, so there can be a degree of chronicity in these symptoms, which is why um, it's crucial to have an opinion about the uh, management of it by a specialist. We don't have long-term data uh, so it's unclear how long these symptoms would uh, go on for. Although we can extrapolate from other post-infectious uh, syndromes such as post-infectious irritable bowel syndrome and often around 50% uh, of patients these symptoms will resolve in one to three years after diagnosis. One of the more unusual symptoms that may be related to uh, long COVID is gastroesophageal reflux disease and of course this requires investigation um, because uh, chronic uh, reflux disease can lead to complications in the esophagus. Of course, COVID, long COVID can cause these very mild symptoms, but it, we have to be careful and make sure that there's no underlying illness uh, or serious condition in these patients that needs uh, further investigation. So some of the signs of uh, a more serious illness, such as weight loss or difficulty swallowing or nocturnal diarrhea, for example, uh, these things do need uh, further investigation and shouldn't just be left.